Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and today I am taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store, simply called the Barns. It does also label itself as free in the title as well, so let's take a look. So overall, the quality is okay. It's not too bad. It is a little bit low quality in some areas, but I will touch upon that a little later on in this review. Uh, but overall, it's not too bad. Obviously, it's going to serve a good purpose for being in a, a farm environment or even maybe some kind of sh little shanty town environment. I think it'd serve there quite well. Uh, quantity, we get quite a bit here. We obviously, we get the fences, the barns, we get cages, barrels, steps, everything that you would expect to see. Um, so in a way of extras, probably nothing could be counted as extras because it does describe itself as barns. Well, we also get these here, but they are in the image itself anyway, so you'd expect to see these anyway. So nothing really in the way of extras. But yeah, quantity-wise, it's fairly decent. One thing I will say is the folders are a little bit strange because each object has its own separate folder rather than all of the uh, pre-tabs be bundled together or the textures bundled together all the materials bundled together. They're all in separate folders, which is a bit peculiar. Um, I don't really like to see that too much, but again, if it's the way it is, it's the way it is. It's Everything's still here and usable, so just keep that in mind that the folders are a little bit strange. Um, and like I say, uh, the quality of the textures is a little bit low, but when we compare that to the size of the actual asset, 129 megabytes, it does seem a little off there. So for that size, you'd expect a little bit higher quality on the textures. Um, so I think there is a bit of a mismatch between the quality and the file size there. But again, it is free. So keep in mind that this is a nice, simple asset to use freely, easily in any project. And obviously there is going to be certain projects it won't fit into. If you're looking for a futuristic sci-fi first person shooter game, this probably won't suffice at all. Um, so how customizable is all of this? Well. Let's take this big shed right here. So the shed itself is this one. And we can see here, if we go in the materials, it does indeed have separate materials for separate sections. However, the object itself, for example, this big shed, again, is not separated. It comes as one singular object. It's not split out. So that is a little bit disappointing in some ways because if it was separate objects, for example, this corrugated metal here, we could easily take that out and just have the bare bones and it would look like a completely different building, even though it's the exact same one. So in some ways it is a bit disappointing that we can't customize it in that sense. But when you come down to it, you can easily change different sections, you know, the materials, do what you want to change with it. So materials wise and textures wise, yeah, you can change it as much as you would really need to um, for, well, any style of game that you would want. So it is versatile in that sense, but not in the sense that I would like. I mean, you could easily add a door here from somewhere and there you go. You should be OK because the inside is fully done. So, yeah, it's not too bad. In fact, I think the floor might be the highest quality asset here. <laughs> so, yeah, the floor is actually quite nice. Um, yeah, so uh, it's hard to say with this one what exactly it could and couldn't be used for because everyone does have a different perspective on things. And one thing I have just noticed, actually, is that the floor doesn't exist. So on the asset store image, it does indeed have a floor, but it doesn't have one here on the plane. Okay, I guess that's that's neither here nor there, is it really? Because we might not be in it for the floor, we're in it just for the uh, <laughs> just for the barns, as it were. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, I either recommend them or I don't. This one, I wouldn't recommend it to everybody, but I would recommend it to some people. So for beginners who are looking to create a nice simple environment just to kind of try things out in Unity, you'll probably find something useful in here, even if it is just like this cage or this crate or the barrel or even just this uh, big shed itself, you probably would find something useful to create your first simple environment. For seasoned veterans of Unity, probably not. I, I wouldn't recommend this to you guys because at this point that there are better assets out there, but you know, it is free, and I suppose in some ways you could also you could really customize it to your own degree and add your own textures to things. So just keep that in mind, I would say. The fence isn't too bad, to be honest. I would say that's a fairly decent part of this asset. So if you're looking for a fence, that might suffice. So yeah, I would recommend it to some, but probably I would say majority, maybe not. 
So guys, have you tried this asset yourself? If you have, let me know what you think. Am I completely wrong in what I say here? Do you think it is a good asset? Would you use it? Have you used it? Let me know in those comments. I'm always keen to know. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, let me know as well, because I'd love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these little review videos. And finally, guys, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with all the tutorials, all the reviews, and all the Unity games that I have on my channel. Until the next video, guys, thank you very much for watching.